Hi there and welcome to episode 22 of our Timber and Stone Easy Mode Let's Play series. Last episode we did a bit of a time lapse. We did five days worth of footage and put it all together in ten minutes and it was very complicated and why is that flashing at like that? Obviously someone can't reach a building area. Uh, yes, it was very flashy and I uh, couldn't really tell what was going on. So today we're going to try and get through another five days, but I'm going to I'm going to cut. I'm going to go straight to the point with a lot of things. I'm just going to show you the highlights, and uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit more informative than last time. So um, let's get started. Today we're going to be working on this area. Not too happy about where this path is actually. I'm thinking about making this a whole lot bigger, and maybe putting some houses or something in, inside this. Um, so I think I'll start by doing that and then uh, we'll see what the rest of the day has in store for us. So I'll check back with you shortly. Okay, we just had a trader land in our little village and they are offering us four steel ingots in exchange for eight rope. Um, we've got not that much of either of those to be honest, but rope we can always get from flax. So steel ingots we have to mine for. Let's accept that trade. See what else they have for us. Right, eight dirt for 16 food. Well, we've got a fair amount of dirt and we've got even more food, so I think we'll decline this one. I think we're okay for both of those, but thank you for all the offer. That's all the trader had for, to offer us, so we bid him adieu. And he'll go on his merry way to the next village and offer them some dirt. Let's see how we're doing over here. We're having some problems laying some of this brick, so let's see if we can fix this. They just won't lay this one block of brick here for some reason. Very odd. Ah, there we go. I think she's finally laying it. Thank you very much, Alice. Navarra? Ooh, we've got a new migrant wishing to join our settlement. What are you? You're a miner, level 3 miner. And are you good at anything else? You're good at carpenter as well. Uh, you're bringing four food, a ladder, and some iron ore with you. And you're an overeater, but you've got a strong back. I think we'll accept you, Isabel, 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 something like that, into our settlement. Um, we've always got stuff to mine. We're currently focusing on mining out a larger area over here. And to try and, um, I'll just show you, that area there. So we're going to expand our castle out. Um, going to try and make this, this entrance hall very, very big. And fill this with grass and, not sure, maybe put some farm, some more farmland in here and expand the farmland. Maybe we could turn this into kind of a forestry area because our forestry area is over here at the moment and um, we did that then we could have a huge farm in here and that might be pretty cool so we'll have to see though. So we've got a new miner, that's all good. Let's have a very quick look at our tools, make sure that we've got enough tools for everyone. Stone hammers, we've got loads of them, stone axes, loads of them, stone pickaxes, loads of them, stone hose, loads of them, yeah. We've, we're not, no shortage of tools here. We should start giving some of our settlers some torches as well actually. Wow, look at the amount of stuff we've got there. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. We could do some more cloth, though, first. So let's uh, see if we can craft some cloth. How do we craft cloth? Flax fibre. We could actually craft 100 cloth. Uh, so let's just add 50 to the queue there. We need a tailor for that. And let's go and add, say, 20, maybe? Yeah, why not? 20. To the queue in torches and we need a tailor so who can be our tailor can you be a tailor you're currently a blacksmith emily augustine and what are your tailoring skills like where is taylor there you're not very good at that you jennifer huges you are quite a good tailor um but we kind of need you to be our trader now i'm tempted to not use you what about we seem to have two wood choppers at the moment and one of them i think is going to bed maybe Yes, you are going to bed. So, Sutton, what are you? Are you a good tailor? No, you're not. And what about you? Tekken... Tekken Tux. Are you a good tailor? No, you're not. But you're going to have to be a tailor, I'm afraid. Tekken Tux. Now, I think I also need a loom because I think I've destroyed the last loom. And do we still have some shears? I think we need shears for a tailor, don't we? Or is it... Yeah, iron shears. We could do with some... Oh, <laughs> while I'm doing that, here's another new immigrant. Is a level 5 farmer. That's a really good one, actually. Bringing some potato seeds, some cotton seeds, and some food. Um, 
Actually, you're quite a good farmer. You're disloyal, but you're a quick learner and you've got a strong back, so we're going to definitely accept you. Farmers are always welcome. Um, and we need a pair of shears, I think it was, for a tailor. Which is, yes, iron shears are an invaluable tool for a tailor. So let's add one of those to the queue, because it looks like we haven't actually got one at the moment. And we need a loom as well. So let's build a loom, which is, I believe, in the workshops yes there it is loom so let's get a loom let's shove it um, this is a kind of workshoppy type area so let's shove the loom over here just because and there we go we also need some more storage for food but it looks like we're out we must be out of copper um, because we can't actually build any of these food barrels we've not got any copper ingots so let's have a quick look and see if we can craft any copper ingots we can we can cool so we can actually craft say 20 of those can't we is that right yeah we can actually craft 20 so let's get 20 copper ingots on the go as well fantastic i'll catch up with you shortly okay we've got another new migrant here infantry this time and he's bringing with him a fair few bits of armor and a steel broadsword which is nice no traits which is a bit odd um, but we have no real need for infantry at all so maybe we can make him a miner or even a farmer we'll have to have a look I think probably a miner would be best so let's accept them and Hildegard where are you going I think you need to become a miner there we go fantastic We've got another trader's just arrived. He wants to give us five cloth in exchange for five raw stone. I think we'll accept this, considering the sheer volume of raw stone that we've got and that we actually do want some cloth. So let's accept that. And that's his only trade, it looks like. So just a little bit of cloth then for us. Cool. There's another new farmer wanting to join us, bringing with him a copper hoe. Some flaxseed, which we've got plenty of, and some food. And he's also quite good at blacksmithing, stones masoning, and herders. Pretty jack of all trades, so let's accept him. New farmers are always welcome. Alright, check this out. Someone suggested that I give all of the uh, all of the migrants some torches. And this is the first night here. And look at them all. They've all got all these torches. They're all lovely and lit up. Let's, you can see what they're doing for once. This is really cool. So we can actually find people in the dark now. I'm not going to succumb you to all of this darkness, but uh, check it out. There's this fisherman down there by the side. There's a couple of people stood in the um, abysmal hall and people working away over here. No one in the farmland has any torches, I don't think. Why aren't you? Oh, you haven't picked one up yet. Because stone hoes seem to last forever, so they don't, generally don't go back to a toolbox at all. But over here, with these um, miners and the builders, this looks really cool. With these guys all running around doing their mining jobs. Anyway, crack on with this. Oh wow, Gilda here with her iron pick with a steel pickaxe is mining loads and loads of silver ore at the moment. We just found loads in the moat, which is really cool. How are we doing over here? I'm trying to mine out all of these. Like what I try and do is when I'm mining away. I know this is dark and I do apologise. When I'm mining away, I try to mine all of these little blocks in one go because if I build a load of steel pickaxes, I'll just run out of steel straight away. But every now and again, if I build a steel pickaxe, it only needs one steel pickaxe to get through all of the little random blocks of uh, random blocks of goodness. And at the moment, it looks like we're getting loads and loads of steel ore, as you can see there. And I don't think she can actually reach that high to mine those blocks, which is a bit of a shame. I obviously need to uh, build some scaffolding to get there. Hello, we've got a new farmer, Fleur. And what else are you good at? You're good at wood chopping and trading. You're a level 2 farmer and yet you're better at building, wood chopping and trading. But you bring with yourself um, some food, a stone hoe, some flaxseed, cottonseed and turnip seeds. And you've got a load of traits as well. Hard worker, charismatic, cowardly, good vision, clumsy and weak back. We'll accept you because we are always looking for more farmers. Check out our farmers now. Look at them. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this will be the 10th farmer unless we've got some sleeping, which we have. There's another farmer there. So you are our 11th farmer. So welcome. Welcome to the village. 
Here's another new migrant wishing to join our settlement, and you are a level 5 woodchopper. We don't really need any woodchoppers right now. But you bring with you three food, an iron axe, and three logs. You're a quick learner, so... Hmm... Tempted to put you on something else, then. What do we need? We've got miners, we've got tailors, we've got herders and farmers. Well, we don't have herders, but we don't really have any animals. Um, because we hunted them all earlier. Uh, we could get, make you a fisherman, maybe? Or... We've got blacksmiths, carpenters, can make you an engineer, but you wouldn't do much. Um, we'll accept you for now anyway, and find you something to do. There's always something to do. Here's Evelyn, wanting to join our settlement, the settlement of Galefast. And she is a level 5 forager. We don't really have any need for foragers at the moment. Um, so may turn her into a blacksmith or a stones mason. Uh, either way, I think we'll accept Evelyn into our group. A group of ragtag settlers and miner, maybe? Miner. Yeah, we've always got space for miners. Currently making the moat a little bit deeper as well. Just one layer. Because uh, I'm seeing these little green things. I think, I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be copper. Uh, but there's one there and there's one over there. It's like really bright green. So that's kind of funky. I'm getting some lag now because I think I've got a few too many migrants for the game to handle. Um, but we're doing well. We're actually starting to show some signs of life in this new area of the castle here. We've got the foundations for four houses laid out here, which looks really cool at the moment. Um, not built them up yet, but they will get bigger eventually. Um, at the moment, just trying to s consolidate the builders, make sure we're still building. Make sure, basically, I'm making sure everyone's still got some work because uh, um, at the moment I don't have enough resources to build these actual houses. So, yeah, cracking on. Another new migrant. Well, this guy's an archer. What else can he do? Uh, adventurer, carpenter, stonesmason, farmer, herder, woodchopper. Yeah, let's accept him. I think uh, I've rearranged the farmers a bit, so we are a little bit low on farmers, and we seem to be losing a little bit of food at the moment. So we may want to make him a farmer. Yeah, let's... Uh, Cole, you're going to be a farmer. You're not very good at much else. So there you go. See, the, the farms aren't as active as they used to be. And Ron Swanson, the herder, just doesn't seem to want to do anything other than kind of pretend he's a zombie. Check him out. And I can move him, but then he just turns into a zombie again. No matter where I put him, he just turns back into a zombie. So I think that we need to just change it. Whoa. All of his professions are zero. Let's just make him a farmer and... Leave him to it, to be honest. That's really weird. He must be very bugged. His fatigue's at full. Health's at full. Morale's at full. Hunger's at zero. So, I just think he's ridiculously bugged, actually. That's very odd. Hmm. Either way. Just putting the finishing touches on the road here. Last road out of the, uh, out of the region. So that, if I highlight it now, that is the fourth and final road out of the region. So we've got the join there, one there, one over here, over the river, and then the really, really ridiculously long one that we spent the first few episodes digging a tunnel for. So we've actually got a crossroads now. So this crossroads here is the, uh, is the marking point of our castle, which is really cool. So... That's nice. Okay, here we go with another migrant. I think this is going to be the last migrant of the episode, to be honest, but uh, he's a forager. We don't need any foragers because we foraged all the bushes, so I think we'll turn him into a... blacksmith, perhaps? We only have one blacksmith at the moment, so let's accept that migrant. And I am struggling with huge amounts of lag at the moment. And I have no idea why, so let's find you and just set you to be a blacksmith. And this lag is coming and going, and I have no idea what is going on with it. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, which is... I'm sorry about the lag. This is 
our new stones masons area and you can see that it's got a couple of forges and the roof is just being built on this uh, on the little house as well the stones masons house and if I go down a couple of levels we've got inside a couple of chairs and a table a few beds and there's a couple of tool chests there as well which is really cool so this, this yeah, look, Peter Vaughan, the stones mason, Colmore, the stones mason, and Nickel Wilson, the stones mason, are all sat there inside the little stones mason's hut. They don't have anything to do at the moment because I've not got any tasks in schedule on the resources tab. Um, but yeah, we've actually got like a, sto a proper stone mason area, and that looks really cool. I think um, we just got to finish off the roof here, which shouldn't take us too long in the next episode. Um, but yeah, that's like the first finished thing, the first finished item of our new castle. And in terms of our new castle, here it is so far. Uh, we're currently mining away some more areas over here so that we can uh, expand it a little bit. But we've got a few buildings here. I think we'll probably have some sort of armory near the gate. And then maybe a, um, I don't know really, uh, <laughs> some storage rooms. Uh, somewhere for the tailors to go as well, so maybe put a loom in one of these, or a couple of looms in a couple of these places. There's someone stood there. What's Lynette Perteau doing there? Hmm, she may be causing lag, because now I've given her an order, the lag seems to have gone. That's interesting. If I were to build with something easy like raw stone, just down here, and I sped this up a little bit. See, the lag is gone now. Now that I've moved Lynette Perteau, I think she has been causing the lag. That's really interesting. Let's just build that there. And then get Lynette off there. Oh, we've got a merchant as well. Four wheat seeds for one silver ore. No, we're going to keep our silver ore, thank you very much. Um, let's just dig out that raw stone again. No, the lag's still here. But uh, it's a little bit better, I guess. Um, but anyway, I think I'll bring this episode to a close. Uh, I think I'll try and sort out the lag. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll accept that trade. Um, for the next episode. And also get this roof finished off. And remove this little bit of scaffold that I've put up of shingles. Um, but until then, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.